yeah 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 welcome back welcome back everybody you know what i mean this is more mo music for life right now i'm going to try to do a nice hip-hop mix today on showing you guys how to put everything together on doing a remix seeing i'm gonna start up like saying that thanks for the support thanks for everybody that listening and coming to listening i'm gonna try to keep my video short and simple for everybody can kind of understand where i'm coming from now so if my accent are from Trinidad and Tobago and really and truly I just want to show you guys how to do remix because I've been around doing remix for all my life and I would like to show, show you guys some of my stuff that I become successful in the remix business. And I, mean have, I have a lot of remix on the internet but I, I, I want to teach you guys how to do remix because I don't want nobody to use my remix and say Man, if I could only learn how to do remix, because I used to say the same thing. If I could only learn how to do remix, I could be good. And nobody never really teach me how to do remix. I learn on myself, by myself. And it was difficult for me to learn remix. And I don't want you guys to go through that the same process that I went through. So today now we're going to try to teach you guys how to, i going to try to teach you guys how to, to, um, to remix a hip-hop. Yesterday, or two days ago, I upload a reggae version, but to me I went too fast, but I'm going to try to do it in stages, but I had to keep it under a time, you know what I mean, I had to keep it between 10 to 12 minutes, so I'm going start to start with the hip-hop track right now, I have three tracks, but I ain't going to mess with the two tracks until I cut different video, you know what I mean, the track right now, we're going to play a hip-hop track, hip-hop instrumental, that we're going to try to find the BPM for. Right now, it's not 120. The BPM is. Listen to me, we'll get a preview of the track. Sometimes it plays, sometimes it doesn't play. Like that. You got to press, press, press it twice and stop it before you get it to play. So when you, when you want to drag a track, when you want to drag a track onto the, onto the project line, See, like the, the, the BPM is 120. All that are going to change soon. I'm going to show you guys how, what, how you're going to change. But all you have to do is drag the track onto the, onto the project line. Make sure it's 9.1. Always put it on 9.1. Don't let nobody come and tell any house that, boy, you need to put it on 8, boy. You need to put it on the first bar. That's a lie. You ain't got to put it on the first bar. But when you're doing remix and you want to build a track and you want somebody to come and sing in your house and... This is what you had to do. First, you had to find the tempo of the instrumental. Sometimes people call it two track. But you had to find the tempo of the instrumental. That is the only way someone can write the beat or a uh, remix can write the beat. You had to find the tempo of the track. But if you put two tracks together, you can never, ever match. So I'm going to teach you guys how to match beats and everything. Don't worry, people. Only go learn from the best, you know? So right now, you put it on 9.1. The first thing will come up again, the beat map of the wizard. All you have to do now is to find the drum beat of the of the instrumental. By now on, all you might understand it, how to how to um how to find the drum beat. First you have to drag this file like this. Drag make sure you drag the bar and so you can see the beat. So you play it. Dun, dun, dun. Don't. And they stop the drum beat. You hear? The, you hear? Tuk, 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 tuk. You hear that the drum roll. You hear, you hear that drum roll, you know? And it, you listen to it. Then after you, you pull it back out like this, and listen to it again. Right. And when you, the, the, this is somewhere right here, the drum beat is somewhere right in this line here, the drum drum beat. So you, what you have to do now is drag the drum beat like this to the closest where the beat gonna drop. Make sure you put the dung beat on the first hit. Like right here. You put it on the first hit right here. Right here. You know, every tempo, every beat is the same. You always have to find the, the first kick. Not the hi-hat, because people just put it on hi-hat and eh, when they put the a couple of, it's be off, you know, and people laughing at you. Trust me, when they put the remix on the forum, on special from anywhere anywhere people will laugh at you 
People gonna say you 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 remix song like like garbage man and Joe oh, you need to go back to the drawing board and yo you don't want people to tell you that it's gonna make your feelings hurt you know you wanna downgrade your feelings see it? so you put it right here right right in this thing and then hit next sometimes when you um when you do when you when you hit next sometimes acid will give you the correct tempo or it'll give you some wrong tempo. Right now, the, it, it give me one one nineteen point nine six zero. This is right here, people. You know, if you listen to the Metro Dame, much Metro Dome, it's not match up to the. It, it, it won't match up. Listen to it. It off, and then it, you need to get a consistent loop. So you need to find out how to get the right tempo. It's not one nineteen. So you gotta go until it kind of feel like the. The beats, you gain a nice consistent loop. Listen to it. Best idea to do now is to put the, uh, the cursor on this line. Click it. Let's click it one time. And let it blink. And you zoom out. Zoom out like that. And you click it. And press play. And then you drag like this. Until you, until you start a feel the tempo is going all the way down to like to this one right here see you hear that you hear that it's on beat right there you know and zoom out again so you can so you can catch it so they are in the clean up this here people you need to clean up this 88.0 Six, six. Most likely the BPM now might be 80, 80 BPM, you know, 80 beat, 80 BPM, and it beats um, this instrument might be. So listen, if you, so you drag it like this, all the way down to it until it sees two zeros. Come down, come down, come down, come down, right, right here, good. Then now, it's strong and it's songing way better than how it was songing before. So all you have to do now, people, is hit next. And now, now the, the next stage here now, this is the biggest stage before you, like, put it in the projects, you know? So you can play. Then, it, then, it, then you want to make sure it's in line up. See that right there now you know you want to know if it's if it line up so you'll, you drag it out like this because you need to clean up this right here and it and then bring it back out like that make sure it it, it right you the gate are not clean right right here it should it should be lined up from from there so you know what i do like i was telling you in the last video you go to all the way to the end you go all the way to the end to make sure everything is lined up yeah let's click it See it? You click it, see it, it, it's not line up. So you what you gotta do now and then bring it back like that until it gets zero zero to the end. Like where you see thirty eight point twenty eight point one zero zero. None of four. You don't want of four because they're gonna be off the rhythm go and, and the instrument and everything gonna be off. So the right now the, the, the beats it's on right now. If you listen to it again, listen to it again, people. You know what I mean? Because I want to copyright, you know, because a lot of big and a lot of copyright materials, and I want to upload tracks and see people, people start using their tracks now. So, next, the next thing they do, I'm going to cover in our next video. You know what I mean? In the upcoming video, I want to tell you guys about copyright, and because you don't want nobody, you do a remix, and people tell you you have to use their stuff, you know? So, Right now, people, we're going to use this instrument right here. Listen to it again. Yeah, that's how you do, uh, how you catch up uh, instrumental in acid. So when you, when you finish it now, you hit next. Make sure you keep all three 
all three things. Make sure. Reason why I'm saying this because you don't want your, your truck to sound like chipmunks. So chain project tempo to match beat match trucks. You want that. That is a, you want that in every project when you're doing an instrumental. Then after now, you go to the second one. Preserve pitch of the beat map track when tempo chase. Yes, you want to keep that. And then save beat map, beat map, save beat map information with file because every time you want to use this same file again, it's going to save the information of the mapper. See? And that's what you do. You know, you click finish and the file going to appear. And you just hit, hit you, click, you just click on the line and you're going to hear the track playing in time. See that? The track in time. When you want to, well, let's say you want to use back the beginning, you drag it on, you drag this thing like this, like that, drag it on, drag it on, and you just put your thing over it, make sure it's over, and you pull it back. And you'll get back the start. Seeing? But that could be on our next video when you're doing remix. Seeing? So the file and save. So next time we're gonna find an acapella that could match between what I do, get an acapella that match between 75 BPM to like 85 BPM, close to 90 BPM, close to 88 BPM. Seeing? And then, and then after you, we could always do something. Maybe tomorrow or next time, if I get like five subscribers tomorrow within the video that come out, I'm gonna do a remix towards this track and show you guys how to um, build a remix and stuff. And I'm, I'm put I'm, according to how it is how the series go. I'm gonna send put leave the instrumental within a zip so you guys can get to download it. And you know I mean have a little fun with me too now you know. So if you have any questions, just leave a comment. Sit share it with your friends. If you don't really understand, if you don't really understand, I'll go talk a little slower on the next video. Remember, I just start to know people, you know what I mean? And really and truly is really to get contents up and show you guys how to mix with Acid Pro, you know? So show some love. If I get like five likes, you know what I mean? Leave a comment. That could be, you know? Without you guys, I can't do this, you know what I mean? So, I let everybody know, this is Music for Life. I'm out. Yeah.